All right, everyone, before we get into the video, I have a quick, exciting announcement to make, and I'm here with the brand new run of the Swirly S-Line PD2s, and believe it or not, this is my first distance driver signature disc, and we named it the Skyrider. I've actually never tried this run of PD2s, so here it is, first impression, first take with the Skyrider. There we go. That's a smash. Wow. That is so far down the fairway. That's actually, if you put it next to a DD3, I think it's the perfect PD2. It's just a bit more reliable, a bit more overstable. It'll handle power a bit better, and especially like windy situations and just dump harder, faster left. So it's a PD2, but definitely not the most stable run ever. Swirly S-Line actually turned out pretty awesome. Just Mania messaged me and said, most of them are absolutely beautiful. And then we come to the stamp. You can see it's a girl, a female riding the eagle. If you wonder why a female, let me tell you this. I just thought it was cool. That's the end of the story. This one's actually pretty flexible if you can see this, but definitely not too soft has a nice little dome to it. We would call this a Crusher PD2. Definitely more of an all day thrower, not crazy overstable, but definitely more than a DD3 or a cloud breaker. Probably the perfect complement for windier situations or more power throws where you need a for sure hyzer finish. Love the feel of it. The way this release is gonna work is these discs are only gonna be available at the Discmania store or in Europe at the Innova store on October 15th. That's this upcoming Thursday, Skyrider release, online only, and we have a two disc limit for every order. It's not great, but it's the only way it happens right now, so good luck. You know what to do, guys. These signature discs are what keep us on the road, what make our life possible, and the support is just hugely appreciated, and I'm so happy and thankful for the great fan base, so. Hope you get one and I hope you enjoy. Check them out. You blend right in with the background. <laughs> oh, that was a great moment. Welcome everyone. We are back. It's been a long and hard weekend, especially for Lazat. I don't know what's up with that course. That was rough. But anyway, we are now here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Kyle plays hole one, Eagle plays hole two, I play hole three, and then Kyle plays hole four, Eagle hole five, and so on and so on, and see what our, com what our score is at the end as alternate hole triples. All right, you'll see the whole course, you'll see every shot, let's see what we get. Fun time. I don't want to say this is big pressure, There's nothing. but it could be more pressure than last weekend. Oh, back door? No. Yep. That's the risk. Oh, where did that end up? Left. Save the par on hole one. Oh, good line. We're out here at hole two. We started with one over par on hole one, so we need to get back to even ASAP. Eagles got hole two. Glide, 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 hit the tree. I'm, oh, that's a putt, good shot. 40 footer for birdie. Not a problem. It's a lot easier putting with no rain. Simon throwing a putter with his putter that he uses Just to make putts. Just trying to avoid sidearms right now. Oh, perfect kick. You know what? That might actually work. It might be a bit short, but... That was good. You know what? That's a putt. Drop. Give it a chance. 
made it to hole four. That looked like a textbook shot. Yes. Good play. Birdie time. Little tester. Not bad. Kyle to bring the team to one under par. Absolutely no problem. Routine. Routine as it gets. All right, hole five. Hornet's Nest. Pro Tour Finals layout. It's Eagle's hole. This is Eagle's first time here, by the way. So he's playing this course pretty blind. But that won't stop us. Kick the right, kick right. That's fine. That's actually a good layup. Basket is no. somewhere right there behind that tree. Needs to keep it low. That wasn't very low. But. Still right there. But. Shot eagle. Eagle for birdie. On hole five. Wow. The best putter in the world, as he says. chance. We are sitting at two under par. Kind of rips on that one. That, oh, that's going to be in the sweet spot. That's okay. Second shot for Kyle. Went through the gap. Oh, we got it. That's, park. that's pretty good. Nice shot. Nice birdie. Sitting three under. Yeah. Wow, that might be Really good. You can kind of see the top of the basket. Way down there. That's going to be a good putt. You might go three for three on your important holes. Nice birdie. Four under now. <laughs> Made the gap. I'll take it. Simon so showcasing the new exo hard method. And that's flexing out. Oh, kick off the tree. Easy Still to play. There you go. All right, halfway through the course, we are sitting at four under par, five birdies, three pars, and one bogey, and the three pars. So hopefully I can get a bird in the back nine and we finish maybe double digits. Kyle Klein on hole 10. Oh, red FB2 with the spicy cinnamon stamp. Mmm. Yes, sir. That could be money. That's perfect. On this par four, hole 10. Pretty much in the sweet spot, going wide. Oh, that'll do, right? Routine birdie, five under. Okay, we made it to treacherous hole 11, eagle's hole, another par four. And as you can see, you just wanna go straight and as far as you can. And that was not bad. Eagle trying to scramble. You know what? What? Maybe that was really good. That was really good. 50 foot or four. Birdie. Wow. <laughs> Just no problems. How does he do it? Confidence is the key. These are all first takes, guys. Nuts. I forgot to film Simon's drive. He absolutely ripped one. Yeah. Goes MD into the gap. Two turned over. That's a putt. I'm in from the bushes. Oh. I'm just gonna stick to my par train. Sweet. All right, hole 13. Kyle's hole. It's a weird angle. Hard to get the disc to land flat up there, but that'll be a putt. All right, Kyle Klein from about 45 feet. 
Try to keep the birdies going. And no, just short. Hole 14. My turn. Eagle's back. Eagle's gone. Four for four birdies so far, so Let's see if you can keep it up. This is actually a new hole. We didn't play this hole last year. And the basket's gonna be straight and to the right. So it lines up nicely for the sidearm. Let's see what he got. Little inside. Maybe a good kick. All right, Eagle actually ended up inside the circle. Who knows how? But this to go five for five and carrying the team. How's it feel to carry the team to Smania, boys? You know, I'm honored to have this, this opportunity to represent a great group of people. And I'm just glad I'm doing my part. That was way too nice. Hole 15, the tightest gap on the course. Can he get his first birdie? And I need to get my first birdie. I think it's about time. Get up there. Come on. Oh, it faded the wrong direction. That's a putt, though. He's got a kick. I got a chance. With the opportunity to benefit his team, he does so. Thank you, Simon. Night strike, baby. Nate Perkins even helping out. Awesome. Shout out. All right, Calvin Klein. Oh, Kyle Klein. Good one. On uh, hole 16. Heard, never heard that one before. And this is a par three with two gaps. And Kyle chooses the wow, wow. Is, a wow gap. is that perfection? Short. On 16, this is Kyle Klein to take us to 10 under. Wow. Wow. Not phased. I made a putt. Hole 17, the one and only par five. Eagle stepping up. Missed that slide. Okay. Not, Not the over. perfect shot, but you can still birdie from there, I say. Money. Be short enough. Oh, maybe a bit long, but that should be good. To still get a birdie, and I have no clue where I'm going. The basket is somewhere up there. Oh! That just flashed right in front of the basket. Eagle, just with an absolute amazing scramble. For birdie. Which brings us to the last hole at 11 under par. I better get another birdie here. All right, last hole, 18, Simon's hole. It's my hole. It's gonna go glow PV2. And this is a crusher. It doesn't say how far it is, but I guess at least 450. So, gotta give it a chance. That's gotta be good. Go in. Oh, oh no. my God! Was that was that dead center? Wow! That was one of my furthest almost throw-ins, but it didn't stay in the hole. Man, come on! Are you kidding me? Almost with the perfect finish. I haven't had an ace in like two weeks either, so I thought it was about time. <laughs> what? We shot 12 under. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Eagle, for carrying the team. I got two birdies and a couple pars. And Kyle's first time on the vlog, I think, was pretty successful. So, thumbs up, folks. Wow. We almost finished with the hole in one. That was, oh, I can't believe that spit out. That was so close. But uh, we finished actually 12 under par, which is a pretty freaking solid round. 13 birdies, one bogey, and the rest pars. And, uh, Warming up for the Pro Tour Finals here. I think all of us have a chance to make it to the finals. I'm about ready for a good round. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks Kyle for your first appearance. How was it? It was great. There's no pressure at all. No. Nope. No pressure being first time on the vlog. Sweet. Fun. Thanks Eagle for birding every hole you played. Just <laughs> the typical. And then guys, enjoy the shot of the day. Get your Sky Rider on Thursday. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace.